Hello, True Crime family. This is Arctic Fox, True Crime. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be looking at the missing persons case of Dorian Thomas out of Amarillo, Texas. Now, this is by far one of the coldest cases that we've ever looked at on my channel. Dorian has been missing since the 26th of October, 1998, and he would be 32 years old now. On your screen, you will see an age-progressed photo to age 27. And in the upper left-hand corner, you will also see what Dorian looked like at the time of his disappearance. Now, anyone that has information regarding Dorian's disappearance or his location is asked to contact the Amarillo Police Department at 1-806-378-3038 or call 1-800-THE-LOST at 1-800-843-5678. But there's so much more to Dorian's story that we need to look at. So Dorian disappeared in, well, on October the 26th, 1998. He had resided in an apartment complex in the 1300 block of Northwest 9th Avenue in Amarillo, Texas. He reportedly filled his bicycle with air and began riding around the neighborhood, possibly intending to get a snack. Now, Dorian has never been heard from again, and there's been zero trace of his bike, clothes, or body found in all these years. Now, the, the bicycle that he was riding was an aqua blue bicycle with white tires, and Dorian was last seen wearing a red shirt and blue jeans. His aqua bicycle was similar in fashion to a girl's bike. It was outfitted with very small white tires and rims, white handlebars, a black seat, a chrome-colored connection pole extending from the seat to the frame, and a rusty chain. The words freestyle were imprinted on one side of the bicycle. It disappeared along with Dorian and, as I said, has never been recovered. The circumstances surrounding Dorian's disappearance are unclear. He was reported as a missing child after more than 24 hours had elapsed since his disappearance. Authorities have been unable to, to, de, unable to determine if he was abducted or if there were other factors involved in his case. Now, Dorian was one of the children who discovered the body of Gloria Ann Covington in August of 1997, which was more than a year prior to his disappearance. Dorian had been playing in Hilltop Park in Amarillo with friends, and they came across Covington's remains behind the YMCA building. She had been stabbed to death. Covington's friend witnessed her murder and was assaulted herself during the crime. She said Covington was attacked inside a white-colored pickup truck before her murder. Linda Gale Jackson was killed one month after Covington's death. Witnesses reported that she entered a vehicle similar to the truck involved in Covington's case, but both women's homicides remain unsolved to this day. A friend of the victim's was beaten by an unidentified Caucasian male in September of 1998. She said her attacker had a red hair had her, well, she said her attacker had red hair pulled in a ponytail, blue eyes, and a mustache. The victim stopped at Dorian's mother's residence for assistance after the incident. She said that Dorian was home at the time and was seen by the suspect. The victim claimed that the assailant threatened to harm her again in the future. She believes that the individual may be involved in Dorian's case. A sketch of the man was put out, but so far, nothing has come of it. Authorities have been, able to deter have been unable to determine if Dorian's disappearance is related to the unsolved murders. Several of Dorian's relatives initially believed a family friend took him to Dallas after he disappeared. The individual called authorities shortly thereafter and was not involved in Dorian's case. Extensive searches of the Amarillo area have produced no clues as to, where, uh, uh, as to his whereabouts. Dorian is described as a streetwise boy who knew his way around the neighborhood. Foul play is definitely suspected in this case. 
Some agencies state that he disappeared near his grandmother's residence. Now, this, this case has a lot of mystery surrounding it and is intertwined with several other unsolved cases in Amarillo. And this particular case of Dorian, to this day, all these years later, is still talked about on a regular basis by citizens of Amarillo. Just chit-chat outside of barber shops and grocery stores. They still talk about this case as if it happened a week ago. So this case is very near and dear to these you citizens of Amarillo, and we need to do what we can to get Dorian's face out there, not only for the citizens of Amarillo, but obviously for his family. I mean, he has been missing for years now. He'd be 32 years old now. And he, you know, he was, he was what? I think nine, yeah, nine years old at the time that he went missing. So, it's very important that we share Dorian's face and his story all over social media. We need to get this out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anywhere that you've got social media so that we can try to bring some closure to Dorian's family and try to bring him home if he's still out there. I have a bad feeling that this is related to that case where Dorian found that lady's body and, you know, it's just intertwined in all that where he found Miss Covington's body and then there's all this other stuff intertwined with it. And I feel that, you know, foul play was involved. I'm worried that Dorian's no longer with us. But even if he's not, we owe it to his family to bring him home for a proper burial, for him to be properly laid to rest. So what I'm asking you to do is to, well, one, like this video, because it helps the YouTube algorithm, and it helps more people see Dorian's face and his story. If you would, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. And if you ring that notification bell at the same time, you get alerted every time I upload another missing persons video. But the most important thing that I want you to do is click that share button. Share this on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you've got social media, and let's get as many eyes on Dorian and his case as possible. I do certainly want to thank you all for tuning in and, and listening to Dorian's story. It means the world to me. Y'all have a great day. Be kind to one another. And I will see you guys in the next video.